never age! But notice their eyes, cold and dead! Their corporation exists only as cover for their wicked means to live, or rather, to remain undead. I tell you now, the Burrow is not gone from our world. He rests undisturbed in the family crypt. He feasts on the blood of his servants, awaiting his body. Right, so Saburo is definitely dead. Like, trust me on this. Such conviction! You witnessed his death with your own eyes? Well, it just so happens I... Uh... No. I did not. Ah, you see? You see? But how could mere mortals become these death-defying abominations, you ask? With the help of techno-necromancers from Alpha... Centauri! It was their tainted blood Saburo Arasaka drank to transform himself into this devil. Wanted to tell me something? Just that I appreciate the effort you put in. You've given most cyber psychos a second chance. And I know it wasn't easy. Some of the cyber psychotic have started therapy. Even if they can't be saved, at least maybe we'll learn more about the disease. Because I refuse to believe it's just some kind of cyberware overload. Who knows? Maybe I'll learn enough to write a piece on it. But anyway, the reward is yours. Thanks. Wanted to tell me something? About cyberpsychosis? Not really, but thanks again for the help.
CEO Sergio Arasaka flags on all city buildings were lowered to half mast, and all major public events have been postponed until further notice. Daughter and heiress Hanako Arasaka recently arrived in the city in the wake of the tragedy. A link will be held at Arasaka headquarters tomorrow afternoon, after which the late CEO will be transported to a final resting place. Show some respect.
Want something, Chum? Uh, yeah. Spell book. You got it? I do indeed. Tucked away somewhere safe. You want coordinates? I need to see my money. Damn, this stinks to high hell. But okay, take care of your word. You won't regret it. Better not, or you will, bigly. Giving you my word on that. Just flipped you the coordinates. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Watch out. Hmm. Zeta Tech XPR. Gotta be like 50 years old. Least that. Had one, you know. Top of the line back in the day.
anything? So, you got the book? You got my eddies? As I says, V, I am a serious man. Amount is agreed. All yours. Thanks a bunch. Don't mention it. It's money well deserved. Are you V? Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. 
Mrs. Perales. Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. It was all over the news. Of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. As far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. What makes you think the cops got it wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is... What are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Stop right there. Slow your roll. River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference. And this time, don't go slow and ask yourself. I still belong to see you. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. 
I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Out of practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any inner synapse zaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting, Off with their heads! You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. They left literally seconds before the attack. That looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Oh, stop right there! Slow your Please. The cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. The terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Yeah, glitch was no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah, but it could've. Could've chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels in an ugly-ass suit. Know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming at your ass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do it after the conference. Tune, don't recognize it. Tune? What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Any thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Ray Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy, and his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. Conference, why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop at Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. Sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. <laughs> Clever. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. 
You want to talk to him, I'll put you in touch. Mayor's Hustle, the NCPD? No. All handpicked by Holt, and on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. Sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Jefferson and Elizabeth Perales hired me to do it. Presumptive mayor sniffing around his predecessor's untimely death. Interesting. Done some digging, got more intel. Also interesting. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, stat. Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about. You River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hun. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to meet. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. Don't make him say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. You see me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl, anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner? 
Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info, dude. What was it? You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Journey to the final frontier. Send the word space to 7299 for a chance to win a one-week getaway for two at the Crystal Palace. Ten casinos, five pools. It blows. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because got a good heart make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of shamed nah it's not something you see every day said he got lost how's that happen what's it mean it means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day before you ask me no i got no idea who my turn why is Perales looking at this now why does he want it done unofficial on the hush hush As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? No, but even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard, it's some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. See, I might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. Who is this guy? Proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. All right, wait here then.
for uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. Said I was done. I was out. Leave me the fuck alone, all of you. Fuck. Hey, Neil. Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Red Queen's race. Give us the address, we're gone. Heard that already last time. Then those motherfuckers showed broke all my fingers. Wasn't here then, now I am. I'll make sure nothing happens to you. Anyone asks, we'll say we got the address off a body we fished out of the bay. Uh, fine. It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries. Goods. Sometimes peeps. We got no idea why you want to go poking around there. Club's empty. They shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Ryan died? Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. My shit luck! Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. It seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Orvoth's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that lead drop. Okay, let's go see this market of yours. We gonna take my car? Sure, thanks. A good 90% of any detective's job is talking. But you know that already. I'll say you're kinda natural. The other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. 
So, who are we supposed to talk to? CyberPsycho's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. What is this? You Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? No, not cops. Just looking for some intel. Everyone's always looking for something. At least I know where I stand with the cops. Other people. I open your mouth one day and Corpo Muscle or Gangoon show up on your doorstep the next. Peter Horvath. Worked for you, right? Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh, yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where do you get the eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Paid to showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about paid out, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. These, uh, speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw it, who else had it in for? Besides Ryan? A uh, madam president, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was his son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. Guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison. A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Right. You did lose your only associate who could string two sentences together. Too bad he also liked diddling little kids. Here's my offer. 
Get the fuck out of here, and I won't arrest you as accessories in the murder of Mayor Rhine. And wash your fucking wheels, pig. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Good thing nobody got killed. A little less paperwork. Okay. Red Queen's race now. Gonna ride with me? Sure, I'll ride with you. Radio. I'm here as Max Mike, the voice of Night City. Stay tuned. I've got more real news and the best music. Come on, man. Animals turf. Any sly cop rules for talking to them? Scratch their tummies? Don't expose your throat? Ha fucking ha. We're short a warrant, so you're on your own. You find anything, tell me. Fuck off! Nothing to see here. <gasps> Found a side door. Animals are letting their guard down. Probably haven't checked it out in ages. I've worked them in. Speak for yourself, bro.
music never stops. 101.9. Looks like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. Telling me you got a hunch? Cop intuition? Something like that.
Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try to find something that looks like an office. Every club has one. It hot. You see the remake? Breakdance or straight up? Straight up! Hate it. Curtis and Lemon? Now they were perfect. Huh? Nobody's perfect.
just... to get skull fucked! Looks like an office. 
this order. Comps are what we what? want. Comps above all. Lucius Rhine, recently deceased mayor of Night City. He was here the night he died. Maybe he was? Maybe he wasn't. No fucking idea. But hey, you might be here in a day you die. Joking, joking. Why are you watching this dump? Nothing left to clip here. We ain't watching it. We're fucking waiting. For what? Till they sent us the scratch for a job well done. Smash it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit. Time for the pay up. I'll pay you. You get half of what you were promised, I get the intel I need. Half? For half? I can tell you how tall he is, but uh, that's sure. it. Half in your hand right now. Real scratch. Or the whole thing, someday, maybe. But probably never. Uh, uh, all right. Scratch. Now. Who told you to wreck the club? And why? Welding. Oh. Lucius Rhine's right-hand bull terrier? Candidate for mayor in the upcoming election. Right fuckhead for the job! Thanks for the help. Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma card. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. Yep. Yes. All right, I'll buzz you later. River, found some footage. You're gonna want to see this. Sending it your way. Your chum covered up the true circumstances of Ryan's death. My chum? I... You mean Han? Yeah, him. You didn't know? Not a thing? Shit. No, no, I can't. Get out of there, V. I'm gonna ping him. Tell him to meet at Chubby Buffaloes. We're going straight there. Okay, hang on. Be there in a sec.
hanging around with this punk? Shut it, Harold. I know what you did. Not about to ask why you covered it up. Not even why you jumped into this mess to begin with. Just want to know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. You got no idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. Not from here. Came from nowhere. Ah, Nomad. See, the NCPD? That's my family. That's my clan. You just don't break with your family. You don't turn your back on your people. Bull fucking shit, Han. Fraternity of cops resembles a clan, not at all. Loyalty. A blood bond. Serving an ideal greater than the individual. Need I go on? V. Appreciate the help. But this isn't your biz. I'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So, since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights, though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep. Find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Fuck. <sighs> so, what now? Won't well, let this go. Can't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Also think it was Holt. Only one who stood to gain. Chicken this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Don't do it. They'll sack you. Or worse. Besides, it won't change a thing. Could be right, you and on. But I couldn't give a shit what you two think. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. Thanks. Just gonna tell you one thing. 
I'm listening. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. If I don't give them something, they're not gonna pay me. We'll manage without that. There's no sense in which you gotta eat. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. It's not 100% clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is. But... Yeah, I got some idea. I think Weldon Holt was behind Ryan's death. I knew it! You got any proof? I don't. Just, uh, strong suspicions. That's all we need to know, Jeff. We have to be careful. Keep a close eye on Holt, and up our security. You're right, as always. Thanks for your help, V. Your fee. You two watch out for each other. Hey there. Now, where did we leave off? City Hall. 